At the close of this decade, the impact of the World War II was beginning to be felt in terms of increased industrial production. Now, this provided a future stimulus to the industrial engineering for aspects and practice. So, if you summarize from the start till what we now just came to know about the industrial engineering journey of development and history, we came to know that the uh, you know the uh, higher demand for more production mostly after World War II, resulted in increase in the manpower, resulted in increase in inputs to the system, leading to requirement for a management to be, you know, uh, uh, looking into. So a management concept came into picture so that they manage those terms and such like that. Then we had very important pioneers who started researching on how we can increase productivity by reducing the cost and multiple stuffs. Then in 1930s and later and stuff like that, the Great Depression and stuff came into the picture where cost was a primary factor for the organizations to be looked into. Hence, the cost needs to be, you know, very precisely utilized, leading to optimizations in the plant. Hence, there was an extreme need for industrial engineering principles and practices to be implemented in the factory, resulting in a rise in development of the industrial engineering field. Okay, so now we'll understood the last concept in this and then we will be ending this video, okay? And in the next video we'll understand about what are the roles of industrial engineer. Before that we go there, let's understand them what happened okay, in the history of industrial engineering. Trade unionism grieved extensively in the 1930s and workers felt less fear of wage cutting. Many modern industrial engineering techniques and their genesis during the period of 1940-1946 predetermined time standards such as MTM and work factor value engineering system analysis are few of those. One of the fascinating products of the World War II was the activity which came to be known as Operation Research. Basically, which is a process of applying statistical and higher mathematical techniques to the solutions of the real-world problems. So you know now the operation resource has also fundamentally introduced in industrial engineering. Okay, A highly significant era in development of industrial engineering began after World War II. A great many new activities developed, application of the principles and the techniques were vastly broadened. The activities were industrial engineering and computer development of system analysis and design, application of mathematical and statistical network planning techniques and their application value engineering, business behavioral science and human factors. It was primarily these two developments, the mathematical advances and their application in the field of operation research and the development of speed, stored program, digital pro computer that literally changed industrial engineering for a non-quantitative empirical science to one of these considerably mathematical sophistication and caused it to be considered a hard science. An additional element should be considered in reviewing the development of industrial engineering and that is the human factor or human engineering, specifically talking about like the human ergonomics, right? Safety and their strain, stress on the human body was also another bigger contributing element in industrial engineering. So as a result of these developments, industrial engineer of today has many more sophisticated tools with which they can analyze a problem in a plant facility to design new and improved systems. Okay, so that is how the journey of industrial engineering began and came till what we are now here. In the next video, you will understand about the rules of industrial engineering. Till then, if you haven't subscribed to our channel, guys, do subscribe to Lean Simcoff for such interesting educational content. Do not forget to like, share with your friends, and subscribe. Okay, and also comment your doubts in the comment section below. So that's all for today, guys. Let's make another interesting video on Lean Simcoff channel. Bye bye.